Fast food is so awesome. Literally, since my mom is a full-time 24-7 worker for my whole life, I basically would just learn how to cook or get fast food and how to even balance on what I would do some days. Some days fast food, some days cooking, and I love my mom, but she can't cook. We tried and we just learned that cooking isn't really her strong suit. So another fact, a rather sad fact actually, is from the ages from 10 to 13, me and my mom were in way, way worse living conditions back then. So my mom didn't get paid every week. She got paid every two weeks and not even that much so that means even if i did get stuff to cook or was able to scrape up some cash for fast food that dollar menu and hamburger helper was the most i can get usually but because my mom until my mom got paid next week so being a poor 10 to 13 year old in those years i'm still poor but just a little bit more fortunate thank god but in the years of being poor you tend to learn if little tricks to stay less hungry until that thursday every second of the week so let's get into it dear god the cringe of that Oh my god, okay. So every day except Wednesday, I would walk with my friend Andrew to either Taco Bell on the right or the McDonald's on the left. And these fast food joints were so chaotic and I have so many stories of these places, it's gonna have to be a whole separate video. But anyway, the first hack in this basic hack, I'm positive almost or if not all people done this at least once, is every time we would go to any fast food place, we would go to the counter, ask for a water cup and fill it up with soda. The only problem with this is that there will always be some dumb worker that always watch you and if you even put an inch inside the cup, they would make it seem like you're taking the whole store away. But when it's successful which it is 95% of the time I would just fill up on soda the next day but me and my friend Andrew will put a big twist on this so this one particular day I had a dollar so I went to this 7-eleven and then I had a bright idea and said yo Andrew let's take one of the large slurpee cups to take it to Taco Bell pretend we're drinking out of it and when the workers aren't looking we can pour soda in it then we don't even have to risk filling up water cups every time and then he says all right bet so we go into Taco Bell and Andrew says okay it's time you go first and I say whoa 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 why me go first and he said because it was your idea now go i really don't even know why we were making this a big deal all we were doing was putting soda in another store's cup we weren't even planning a heist like gta or something i got on my cup very slowly poured in the soda and andrew does the same and we were out and that sustained my hunger for a while but soda isn't food so me and andrew had to find other ways to get food so this is where the hacks that will get me arrested and don't do this at home boy if you don't get it is extremely illegal and i only did these hacks once okay the first one i was with andrew again me and him were dying of hunger like a lot but something you guys don't know about me when i'm really hungry i uh <laughs> i pass out i i swear on everything i do i don't know why i just do so i'm just like on the brink of passing out in the taco bell and plus i can't ask my mom for money because we still have to wait a week till she gets paid again so i'm like Fuck. this is where getting food me and andrew were just discussing how hungry we were and andrew said do look you think of what i'm thinking and he pointed out a receipt that's been used by a garbage bin and i said oh i get what we should do i was scared but there was literally no choice so i gave her the receipt and said my food wasn't ready yet she looked at me weird and then she said okay <laughs> boom bro success we ate that day i don't even remember what we had because we were young when this happened but it did work but i also found out that it was illegal and i'm a Afraid of prison, so ha! <laughs> no way I'm ever doing that again. The last quote unquote hack. Oh my god, these aren't even hacks, these are just wrong. Don't do these but this hack or whatever i wasn't with andrew i was alone because that day was a wednesday and his mom always picked him up early so i was alone and i went to the mcdonald's which i never really went to it because it was so fucking chaotic again if you want that video on this stupid mcdonald's comment below but anyways i walk into this mcdonald's which was so crowded from all the kids from school and i just came for the water cup to get full because i was so hungry but i didn't have any options to get food because i swore off those methods to get food after finding out they were illegal so i wanted to get a water cup and get soda and fill up on that so i could just go to the bus and i was in a hurry but this stupid stupid kid that would always bully me and say so much mean things to me came out of nowhere and he says a lot of mean stuff i don't even remember but i do know he got into some personal things and i didn't want to fight him because the cops have been called there numerous times
and if you guys know, I hate prison, so I just ignored them, but I was still sad and upset, and I remember seeing him order at the line, and I hear the lady call his number. I think, I think you see where I'm going here. I took his f***ing food, man. I got a 20-piece nugget, a large fry, a large drink. I didn't even need a water cup, okay? Look, I know I shouldn't have done that, but I was sick and tired of always getting bullied by this kid. Plus, he bullied me even after this story. But I took his food and ran it, and it was so so good that I don't regret it. So yeah, you can't really call that a hack, but potato tomato. And I'm not really sorry. Moral of this, hmm, I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> don't freaking bully people and don't do these uh quote unquote hacks. Yo, go to jail. And it's uh, it's very bad. I was a dumb 11 year old kid that didn't know better. Still am, but not as much when I was 11. Um, if you ain't a lame, then subscribe to me and Zemer right now. Oh yeah, that too. Hey guys, Zemer here. Thanks for making it to the end of another video. It really means a lot, guys. I love the support. All you guys are awesome and amazing. Plus, big shout out to my good friend and one of my favorite YouTube animators, who is Cody. Get him, give him a round of applause for voicing my friend Andrew. He did amazing. Go subscribe to him and... Follow him on Instagram, plus subscribe to me and follow my social medias. All the links for me and him will be linked in the description. One last thanks to you, who is Cody. If you're watching this, it's such an honor to be collabing with you. Thank you, man. By the way, guys, one last announcement. We are very close to 300 subscribers and I'm doing a giveaway on my Instagram or Twitter. All you have to do is screenshot that you're subscribed with that bell on, send me proof, and tell me your favorite video of me and why and you'll be entered in the giveaway winner will be decided around 300 subscribers when we get enough submissions the winner will receive a card a gift card of their choice that's all for today's video guys thank you guys for watching another video i love you guys so much you guys are awesome let's break 10 likes on this video i love you guys so much and goodbye